Reduce Greyrand and Eris successfully come back to their village with the help of Ruigerd, a suburb, only to find out that the village is ruined. After seeing that they are on their land, Ruigerd bids goodbye and will continue his journey of making good deeds to redeem their reputation. Later on, Reduce was able to slept with Eris, she promised that he will sleep with him if he turns 15, but Eris offer her first to Reduce ahead of time. Reduce does not suspect that something amiss with Eris, but the next morning, Eris was gone, with a heavy heart because of Eris. Reduce decided to set on journey on finding his mother Zenith as he have agreed with his father. On his travel in a caravan, he met Suzanne and Sarah. Suzanne tries to strike a conversation seeing that Reduce is so down, but Reduce answers her nonchalantly which earn a scolding from Sarah. Thus, Rudeus explained that he is finding his mother who is caught by the teleportation accident. Upon arriving, Suzanne and Sarah reunited with their party while Reduce decided to rent a room for himself. While discussing the rent, Reduce just put huge amount of money and proceed to his room. He is sulking on Eris but decided to get up and went to the guild. Other adventurers criticize him as weakling in appearance. Rudeus walks straight and asks the lady to disband his party. He then picks a task but the lady was shocked to hear that he will go alone. Suzanne arrived and offered him to do the task with her party. Reduce reluctantly agrees. They went to meet the party and decided to prepare their things and set on the task tomorrow. Sarah is sulking seeing that Reduce will go with them. Early in the morning, Reduce went to their meetup place and introduces himself as mage that can use incantationless magic, but he was not able to accept Suzanne's hand. Along the way, they introduced their self one by one. Timothy as the leader, Mimir the healer, Patrice the vanguard, and Sarah the counter-attacker. Sarah scold Rudeus expressing her disapproval of him, but Susan advises Sarah to learn to cooperate with others. While on camp, the party dickuses their role. Rudeus offered to take more role but easily got rejected by Sarah. Rudeus see Eris on Sarah on the way she acted. Timothy apologizes for Sarah's action and praises him as incantationless magic, but Reduce tell him that cannot even save the people he lost. In the next scene, Suzanne and Sarah scout the number of grizzles, seeing that they are few and take a nap, so they took action. Timothy hit the grizzlies with flame while Reduce held him down using his magic by creating mud that stops them. Realizing something, Reduce place his ear on the ground. Suddenly, a group of black grizzlies cover in mud approach them. Timothy orders everyone to retreat, but it turns out they are surrounded. Reduce surrendered on himself and wait for the attack, but Suzanne shielded him. While the party continually fight, Reduce is confused why they still fight although being cornered. Bunch of grizzlies were taken down, but only to see a whole new group. Reduce then decided to take action. Grizzlies charge towards him, but suddenly stop seeing Reduce making a huge ball of flame. He concentrates his magic before throwing attacks to them and creating a big explosion. In the morning, a large number of bodies of grizzles are scattered. The party is busy peeling off the four of the grizzles. Afterwards they burned them. Suzanne and Sarah thank Reduce and he laid his hand and thank her too for bringing him along. When coming back to the guild, the other adventurers are eyeing them. Timothy then announces that they will treat them since that is their first accomplishment. The adventurers stunned but they all rejoices. Susan introduces the group along with Reduce. Reduce then was able to be happy. In his room Rudeus cries and regrets his decision to give up on life. He then remembers the all of his past, how he came to this world, his family, friends, and his master Roxy. Months passed and Reduce continued to live in the city taking various tasks while improving himself. He wants to catch the attention of the citizens with the hope of gaining fame. And after getting Roxy's underwear, he went to the guild and heard a party setting out on a journey. His name was known and got another nickname which is Quagmire. He decided to pick a task. The lady was taken aback seeing Rudeus holding an underwear. He then helps in removing snow. He uses his magic to melt the snow and help the bruised kid. Sarah saw all these and offer him to join in a task. But Reduce has second thought since his purpose to get to be known. Suzanne and the party came and offer the same thing to Reduce. Thus, he agrees. They went to Galgo Ruins to gather scale of snow drakes. Timothy explains that the ruin is the fortress during the first human demon war. Reduce was amazed by the ruins. He to slow down.
Thank you for watching until the end. Subscribe for more videos like this. If you've enjoyed this so far, drop down below and show us some love by liking, subscribe and sharing. Next chapter will come out soon enough if not already. But for the meantime, check out our other videos on the screen. I highly recommend The Daily Life of the Immortal King. The link is in the comments section below.